Hello everyone and welcome to Button Making 101. <laughs> Alright, um, so today I'm going to show you how to make a button out of a picture. Like this. And, um, okay, the first thing you want to do is open up your picture. This is the picture I'm going to use, which is my favorite picture of my son so far. <laughs> There's too many, okay? Um, so the first thing you want to do is after you open your picture, you want to go ahead and click on your selection tool. Make sure you click on the little arrow so you get your choice. And click on the very first one. Next, you want to go up to selection type and click pick circle. So once you have circle, make sure that your mode is set to add shift. Uh, feather zero and anti-alias check so once you have that done you want to go ahead and click somewhere in the middle of the picture and drag out the circle once you have it how you like it which mine's good like that um, if you don't like how it came out just right click um, click and drag again until you have it how you like it so once you have your marching ends around the picture you want to go ahead and right click and copy and you want to right click out here and paste as new image as you can see it's huge this is only at 42 percent so imagine at 100 percent so what we want to do next is resize the picture so I'm going to go ahead and go to image resize and I'm going to make this uh, 300 by 300 and press OK. OK, now that I have my image the size that I want, the next thing I want to do is open up the canvas a little bit so that I have room to work with. So go back to image and go to canvas size and I'm going to open up my canvas to 500 by 500. You should have something like this. Okay, once you have your canvas open, we can go ahead and do the button effects. So go up to effects, go to plugins, alien skin, eye candy 5 impact, and glass. Okay, I already have my settings um, memorized there. So what you want to do is put it to bevel width 39.38, bevel smoothness 100, round selection corner 64 bevel placement inside selection glass color white opacity 8 tinting 25 refraction 50 inner shadow opacity 61 drop shadow opacity 100 shadow offset 36.32 and shadow glow 10 so it should look something like this and you just if you want to save your settings for future use just Go over to settings, save, and name it whatever you want and press OK. See, so I already have mine set here. Now you can just go ahead and press OK. And there's your button. So the next thing you want to do is get rid of all this extra space. So what you want to do is press Control C and then Control Shift V. And it'll paste it like this and then you can just go ahead and save it. Make sure you save it as PNG to maintain the um, transparent background. And there you go. That's how you go ahead and make your button. Now, if you want to do a different kind of button, like let's say with words, what you want to do is open up a new image. I'm going to open 500 by 500 so that I have plenty of room to work with. Um, you want to use, you can either use your selection tool or you can go ahead and use your ellipse tool. Whatever works for you. You can do both. Which, okay, hold on. <laughs> Make sure that your color is set to something solid like white. And draw your circle. Or you can draw out your circle with your selection tool and then flood fill it with whatever you want. Okay, once you have your circle, you want to right click, convert to raster layer. 
then you can use your your magic wand to select it and maybe add a brush or two if you want so you use your brush um, I didn't like that one <laughs> uh, let's see just pretty much whatever let's um, put some sparkles I guess Let's just put some sparkles on it. And then maybe you want to add some text. So go to selection, select none. And just add, I don't know, um, whatever you want to write. I'm just going to write tutorial. I don't think I have any fancy fonts in here. I'm just going to use that font as an example. Okay. And you know, pick your color. Something along these lines. You can decorate your text however you want. I'm gonna do an inner bevel. Maybe a drop shadow. So once you have it how you like it, just make sure you merge everything. Merge visible. Then go up to effects, plugins, go to your iCandy 5 impact glass and use the same settings as before the bevel width 39.38 bevel smoothness 100 round selection corner 64 glass color white bevel placement inside opacity 8 tinting 25 refraction 50 inner shadow 61 drop shadow 100 shadow offset 36.32 and shadow glow 10 just in case you missed it and there you go. You can just press Ctrl C and then Ctrl Shift V to get rid of the extra space. And there's your button. So you can pretty much do this, you know, with any colors or anything you want to do. And if you have any questions, just feel free to message me as always. I'm happy to help. Have a good one.